The Federal Reserve left the US Fed funds rate at 5.25 to 5%. They have a range, not a precise number like we do. And their policy rate is more than 1% above our 4.1%. And that's partly because their inflation target is not a range, it's a precise 2%. Whereas ours is a range, 2 to 3%. So 3% inflation here is fine. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said, we are committed to achieving a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to bring inflation down to 2%. And we're not yet confident that we've achieved that stance. Nevertheless, the market thinks the next move in US rates will be down around the middle of next year. The Australian dollar jumped above 64 US cents because the US dollar fell after the decision to leave rates on hold. And the New York share market jumped more than 1% at the same time, with other markets around the world doing something similar along with the Australian market, with big gains by the banks and smaller ones by retailers and miners. Now, the takeover offer for Origin Energy from the consortium led by Canadian firm Brookfield was increased today from $8.81 to $9.53 a share, or just under $20 billion, even though the board had accepted the lower bid. The problem was that the biggest shareholder, Australian Super, with 14%, did not accept it. And they don't accept the newer, higher offer either. So the share price dropped today by more than 6%. Oil slipped last night while iron ore and gold went up. And so far, the war between Israel and Hamas has affected the price of gas far more than the price of oil, and gold for that matter. And that's finance.